Chuck Rose in the fridge, my night to cook? Well, you know what would be good with that Chuck Rose? Adobo shredded beef. Come on, Nanu. Let me show you. start by blending up that adobo sauce. And look, what you're gonna need here is you're gonna need to get your one to three chipotle pepper. Now look, I like three, but be careful, bro, because that's hot, yeah. You're also gonna need to get your two teaspoons of Mexican oregano, or regular, whatever you got around the house. You're gonna need one quarter teaspoon of allspice. No, I didn't say allspice, but that allspice does smell good, yeah. I said allspice. You can get that from the store, babe. You're gonna need to get your three tablespoons of cumin, five cloves of roughly chopped garlic, one whole lime, and look, fresh is always better, yeah? Two teaspoons of adobo sauce in the can. You get that from the store like that. So I need you some beef broth and apple cider vinegar. So look, I'm gonna go ahead and put the chipotle peppers, the oregano, the old spice, no, the old spice, the cumin and the garlic in there, just like this. Get that all in there. Come on, little spoon. You can do it, you can do it. But just like that. Then you're gonna wanna go ahead and squeeze that lime in there. Get a whole lime in there. Squeeze it good too. You wanna squeeze this lime in there? Make sure you get it all in there. Might make me wanna make a margarita. You know I like margaritas? Yeah. Ooh. Now what you wanna do is get you some of that adobo sauce in the can. You get that from the store too. And we're gonna put two teaspoons of that adobo sauce in there, just like that. One, two. And maybe a little taste of tissue, huh? Oh, that's good, yeah. Then we're gonna put in one half cup of beef broth, straight out the can like that. Ooh. Yeah, just about maybe a little bit more. Can't ever hurt by putting a little bit more. Then we're gonna put one third cup of apple cider vinegar in there. That's gonna give it some dang in it, you know? Ooh, that adobo sauce starting to burn my lips, bro. Ah. Well, you know, I like to do that to my wife too when I'm in bed at night and I'm drinking something, I'm like, well, you keep doing that after about 15 minutes, you start to look at you like. <laughs> but anyway, the last ingredient you need in this blended sauce is some crab ball. That's one of the game changers. You want to put about a half a teaspoon in there? Or if you like me, just put like a little half a cap. Then we're going to take this and we're going to want to blend that all up in the blender. And look, man, you're going to want to blend that till it gets real smooth and liquidy. You don't want to have no chunks in that, shaft. So look, I'm going to put my blender on there. How the hell does this even work? You know, sometimes you don't even know. And you're going to blend that up like that. Like I said, you want it real smooth, liquidy, no chunk. So now we're going to get to that chuck roast. So look, what I went ahead and did was I cut that meat up into some little smaller pieces like that to make it easier to work with. And I'm going to season that with some salt and some pepper and some Cajun seasoning. You know, I don't know how much, but I know I Love. Don't be afraid to sing to your meat, no shy. I'm telling you, that is the magic secret sauce right there. All right, so now we're at the grill, and we're going to go ahead and sear that meat. You want to get a cast iron skillet real, real hot for a good sear. Now, you want to make sure when you put your meat in there that you ain't moving it all around. You don't want to be wishy-washy with your meat. You got to let it sit and get a good char on there. So this is going to help with your flavor, too. So I got my skillet nice and hot. You're going to better hear that meat sizzle. Ooh, Lord, that sounds good. So look, we'll go ahead and fill up about half of my meat because you don't want to overcrowd your pot. I'm going to put that in there like that. Listen to it go. Boy, that sounds beautiful. And remember, don't get too crazy with your meat. Don't be moving it all around. You want to build up that good char on there, you know? Got it! My damn dog, y'all. Get out the damn garbage can! So now if it's been a couple minutes on that grill and the searing in that cast iron skillet, you want to go ahead and check it and make sure you got your good sear on one side. And look, if it don't look like that, it ain't ready. But look, that's good right there. You see that nice dark char on there? So we'll go ahead and flip these in the, in the skillet right here. We can do the other side. Every about like two or three minutes. 
No, that damn dog, he keeps getting in my damn garbage can. I don't know why he keeps doing that. I tell him, don't do it, and keep doing it. So now you want to go ahead and hold him on the side like that, try to get a little char on each side. Oh, yeah, yeah! Oh, like that's hot, yeah! Woo-wee. Man, like to make me burn my fingers or something from the steam, I guess. Oh, Lord. So look, hold it a little bit on that side. On each side, maybe rotate them a little bit. Try to get that char nice and good on there. I didn't forget about you, Babu. Oh, no, I didn't forget about you. Look at that one right now. Oh, yeah. So then once you're done, you can maybe put that in a bowl to the side or something like that. And then we're going to cook the other half. Because like I said, you don't want to overcrowd your pot. Put that one in there. And I tell you what, these are going down pretty good today too, yeah. Oh, Lord, yeah, I like that. So now we're ready for the crock pot. And let me show you how we're going to do that. Now, the first thing you need to do is you need to go ahead and get your, like I got right here, one diced yellow onion. So pour that in there. Well, look, make sure you get that all in there. I don't, I don't, I don't want my little girl running around with onion bread later. You, you need them onions. Now, look, you're also going to need to get your four ounces of uh, diced green chilies in the can. And look, I like to drain the juice out because I like to get my sauce a little thicker, you know? So we're going to put that in there, four ounces of them green chili. That's going to be good, too. Get that. Gonna need to get you like uh, one, one cup of beef broth, you know? Pour that in there just like that. Then we're gonna do two bay leaves in there. Well, it's gonna make it pretty and it's gonna taste good too. And then we're gonna scoop in there. We got uh, three tablespoons of tomato paste and I got one tablespoon of uh, better than bouillon beef base. Put that in there just like that. Get that in there. Scrape that in there, good. Oh, a spoon would have probably been better, but you know what? It don't can work too, you know? We get that in there just like that, All right? Now we're gonna take that meat we seared, and we're gonna start putting that meat in there in that crock pot just like that and say, hey, y'all go. Y'all gonna be cooking down real slow while tissue cuts the grass, you know? Well, then look, it's, it's getting hot out there too. It's gonna be a hot day. I'm gonna have to bring me some extra drinks out there. So we're gonna put that meat in there right on top, just like that. You get a little juice from your meat, you can go ahead and pour that in there from your bowl. That's only gonna add more flavor, man. And then, you can't forget, one of our game changers was that adobo sauce we made at the beginning in the blender. Just go ahead and pour that over there, chef. Now this is a game changer, Beb. All right, just like that. Now, you're gonna cover that crock pot you're gonna put that baby on low and slow. And we're gonna set that in and that's gonna be cooking for about eight to 10 hours. Now look, if you wanna put it on high, you could do that maybe in like three to four hours. It's all about what you want. But this is gonna cook down. He's you gotta go cut the grass, but first he's gonna take a break because look, you deserve it too. Because we did all the hard work already. Now, we just gonna have fun. And you know what I like to do on my break? I like to give him a nice cold drink. Nanu, you hear that, huh? Am I out of it? You're giving me But no, Nanu, put on my song I like. I like to listen to that fair music like they play at that La Vie La Fouches. And I like to dance with Rosalie. Come on, Rosalie, why don't you dance with me, babe? So it's been about eight hours. I had time to cut the grass, take a nap. I just woke up and I had the ice cream pan, but Joe probably knew in my dinner. But you know, I was riding on that lawnmower and I was thinking, you know what would be good? some tacos with that adobo shredded beef. So that's what we gonna do. So I got my skillet heated up right here with a good corn tortilla, and I'm gonna show you how we gonna put that together. So you just throw your corn tortillas in there, I like to to double it up, that way they don't break too good, you know? I'm gonna let that heat up, I'm gonna put me some of that shredded cheese on there. You can't have add too much cheese, you know? I like cheddar cheese, I like all kinds of cheese. I like mozzarella cheese, pepper jack cheese, but I don't like no toast cheese, you ain't gonna wanna put that on there, bro. I'm gonna let that cheese melt down on that tortilla like that. I'll put me some of that shredded beef on from the, the crock pot. So now that that meat and that cheese done kind of melt on that warm corn tortilla, I'm gonna go ahead and take that out like that, I'm gonna put that on my plate. And then go ahead and get you some of that coleslaw we got chopped up like that, nice. And some of these pickled red onions, that's real nice too. Oh, you grab that, you pull that over like that. You dip that in that sauce, woo <laughs> And boy, you gotta be careful because that's hot, yeah. Roar! 
Boom. No, you know that's right. You know that's right. That tastes so good, bro. That's why I've been sitting in a pot for like eight or ten hours, bro. Not to call my mom and tell her to make these, bro, because that is some good. Adobo shredded beef. No, you know you can't just eat one of those, bro. Ooh, that's good. Get out of here, dog.